welcome uh, to the webinar this morning. I am Angie Baker. I'm the BLC director, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you all for joining us um, to learn a little bit more about the new uh, BLC showing ecosystem powered by Broker Bay. I'm very excited to welcome my good friend Costa Dukas, who is the one of the founders and CEO of Broker Bay. He is going to do the bulk of the talking this morning, but I do want to just introduce a couple of things that you are likely aware of because you're with us today. Um, but just to, to give you a, a glimpse into what we are doing with this uh, solution rollout and um, some other changes upcoming that, that will affect you know, your, uh, your year going forward. So very briefly, I just wanted to um, give you a quick overview of, of where this uh, solution came from. Uh, we're looking at this partnership with Broker Bay as um, you know, really filling that, uh, that need in the marketplace for a full suite of tools that, can, that you can use to schedule and manage your showing appointments. Um, it provides 3D virtual showings. Um, you can issue and track communications, review analytics, all kinds of really great features within Broker Bay. And this will be integrated into the MyBoard BLC dashboard and the broker listing cooperative platform for ease of use. So an icon will be incorporated on your listings in the BLC so that um, if, you're, if you're booking appointments, it'll, it'll be an easy access um, just like you're used to today with um, some of the other solutions. So just to address this right up front, uh, we get a lot of questions about rolling out new platforms. What's the cost? How am I going to be impacted financially? So this will be rolled out as a core BLC service and will be covered in your existing technology fees. So to be clear, there are no MyBoard dues or BLC tech fee increases scheduled through at least 2022. Um, and then the next question we usually get on these webinars is when can I get this? When? So we are rolling into the final days of, um, of preparing to launch this into our, um, into our marketplace. So once you complete this webinar, um, watch for, if you're a managing broker, you will see an icon appear on your dashboard and I can show you in a little bit what that looks like. That will allow you to register for participation in the platform. It just lets us know that your office wants to participate using the Broker Bay platform. It allows all of the data to flow from one point to the other so that when you are, Fully, uh, you know, fully launched into the system, your listings show up, every agent in your office shows up uh, within your Broker Bay uh, platform. And so it eases that, you know, that confusion of, of, you know, how do I get in there? What do I need to do next? So you, the first step will be registering, and then that opens up for you to um, prepare for going live with this system. And that's really what we're going to focus on today is showing you kind of that next step. Paired with this, and I don't want to spend a lot of time on this because we really need to stay focused on the broker-based solution today, but one of the major reasons that we found Broker Bay to be such a great partner is because there's such deep integration with Lockbox solutions. And hopefully, again, you are aware that the Lockbox solution um, we have chosen going forward is powered by Master Lock. So we will be doing a conversion from your current Center Lock boxes to master lock boxes. And there's communication going out about that um, currently, right now, uh, kind of in real time as, as we move through this week. So you'll see lots of, of um, information coming about master lock. Very briefly, um, you should be receiving communications if you currently have central lock boxes on um, some vouchers that we're providing on the older style hardware that has been still in use. We recognize these are this is old technology, but some people are still continuing um, and have still continued to leverage that technology. So for those that are that have still currently been in use in our marketplace, we're we're doing a voucher program on those to help offset the investment in the new technology provided through Master Lock. Um, if you have the newest Bluetooth boxes from Central Lock, we are going to be offering times for you to come in and exchange those out one for one for new master lock boxes. Um, again, all of this is in your emails if you are a lockbox owner. Um, and we have a dedicated web page to this. It's myboard.com forward slash lockbox, where we are putting 
any information that we can possibly think of. If someone asks us a question and we've never answered it before, we answer it on that web page as well. So stay in tune with that um, and more information coming in again the in within this week we're so we're continuing to send these vouchers out and work through that process. When you come to the events, um, we do we are not collecting the older style boxes, the Gen One, Gen Two silver boxes, the navy blue NXT wireless boxes. Those can simply be recycled. We are not collecting those. We're just issuing vouchers again to help offset the cost of upgrading to the new technology. Um, what we are collecting are those tan colored Bluetooth boxes. So you will bring those to us and we'll exchange those out for you. Why are we doing all of this crazy stuff all at once? Well, because <laughs> the master lock boxes integrate so deeply with the Broker Bay solution that the Broker Bay app is what you will actually use to open the lock boxes to show properties. So that's why we're rolling these solutions out together. So this um, on the screen, is a um, is a lit, uh, kind of kind of a screenshot of the Broker Bay app and how it interfaces with unlocking a lockbox. So when you have a uh, if you're a buyer's agent and you have a, a book, you've booked a appointment to show a property, you'll have your Broker Bay app open. You can see your confirmation, all of the um, you know alarm codes and all the things that go along with showing a property and in the same place without having to switch to another solution, you'll be able to just tap that, that button, unlock the lockbox, you'll hear it click, you get the key out, you go in the house. So really the heart behind all of this is simplifying and modernizing your experience to streamline that process that you're going through at the door with your client as you're, uh, as you're managing through that important part of the transaction. So um, I know there's lots and lots of questions about lockboxes. I'm gonna just refer you to the lockbox page on the MyBoard website for now, because I do want to turn our attention and really give focus to um, the, the Broker Bay platform and have our friend Costa walk us through that. But I'm so excited to go, you know, enter in this journey with you all and provide this solution through MyBoard. And so also very, so excited to see you all very soon <laughs> um, and not just across the screen because there is a physical you know, handoff of hardware in this process as well as a software implementation. Um, so we're gonna see you and we haven't seen you in ages it feels like. So um, looking forward to that, watch your email, watch that lockbox page. There's also a dedicated web page to help you navigate through the broker bay implementation in our market. And it is myboard.com forward slash showings myboard.com forward slash showing. So I'll put it in the chat as well. But with that, I'm going to turn it over to Costa. I'm going to stop sharing my screen so that you can take it from here and guide us through the live Broker Bay platform and what that's going to look like going forward um, and how they're going to get started. So we're really going to focus today on how you're going to get started. Um, there's We've done webinars in the past that kind of overview all of the features, but we know this is the critical moment where we're entering into this, this point in time where you're going to need to know when you get access to the platform, what do I do next? So Costa, thanks for joining us today. Angie, I want whatever you had this morning. I, I want some of that. You, Water, you're bringing the good it. energy. <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much and, uh, and good morning, everyone. Uh, for those of you who have never sat, on, uh, sat in on a sneak peek before, my name's Costa. I'm, I'm one of the two co-founders, the CEO of Broker Bay, and um, I'm here today to take you through not so much a sneak peek, but um, an agent training 101. So we're going to be going through a tremendous amount of information today, and it's going to be overwhelming for, for some of us, and that's okay because I'm going to tell you up front you don't need to remember 95% of what we're going through today. So don't feel like you have to write everything down or take notes. Um, there is going to be a few really important parts that I'm going to say, hey, pay attention. Remember as much as you can of this thing that I'm taking you through. And um, there's only going to be three or four things that we really have to remember from today and know that um, a lot of the learning is uh, as to how to use Broker Bay and how to log in is going to come from actually... Um, requiring to use the system, which will happen over time. So, so not to worry. Um, feel free to ask questions today. So if you have any questions about 
any things that I'm asking about, I'll, I'll look at the chat from time to time um, or the Q&A if, um, if anyone pops a question in the Q&A. But, uh, but yeah, know that I'm going to stick around for, for five, ten minutes afterwards uh, to answer as many questions as needed. And if you do ask a question during the presentation, Angie will call it out and um, I will, um, I'll answer it live so that we can uh, make sure we're, we're all following along correctly. All right, so let's get started. So um, I've just logged in to the Broker Bay web platform. And before we start going through the book, Broker Bay web platform and going through the Broker Bay mobile app, it's really important to know how we're going to be getting to Broker Bay to begin with. How the heck do we even get here, let alone use it? So let's talk about that first and foremost. All right, so I'm gonna tell you the holistic process and what you can expect as if there are any managing brokers in the room, if there are any agents in the room, which I'm sure there may be a, um, a both, um, let's talk about how this is gonna um, go live on January 20th. So on January 20th, select managing brokers are going to see a big blue icon on their BLC dashboard that looks like this, Broker Bay. And when a managing broker clicks it, it's going to bring them directly into the platform and it's going to ask them to claim um, their brokerage and select the launch date. Great. So once a managing broker selects a launch date, okay, so once they select um, the fact that they want to go live with their brokerage, and it's important that they do that or else agents will not be able to access the platform yet. So when your managing broker selects that, you as an agent will then also be able to see um, this big blue icon on your dashboard um, that says Broker Bay. And when you click it, as an agent, it's gonna take you to a screen that looks like this. And it's gonna ask you to complete your profile. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna upload a headshot. We're gonna make sure our email and our mobile number look correct. And if they don't, we're gonna make any changes we want to it. Following this, Following the completion of your profile, it's then gonna ask you to create a password. This is incredibly important because it's this password that we're gonna use every time we try to access Broker Bay outside of the BLC. So if you're ever on a computer and you just wanna access Broker Bay, you're not gonna log into the BLC, you're gonna use this password that you create. If you wanna download our mobile app, which is incredibly important and log into the mobile app, you're gonna be using this password. So, um, so know that this is gonna be a part of the first time you log in, great. As soon as you finish setting up your password, it's going to let you know as an agent, the date that your brokerage is launching. It's going to give you a link if you want to attend more trainings exactly like this training that you're on today. And it's also gonna tell you if you have any listings that you personally need to start getting involved with setting up showing instructions on, um, and you can watch little videos of how it works and, and how to do that. But we're gonna be going through all of that today in detail. So again, to recap, the first important thing to remember today is when your brokerage says that they are launching Broker Band, your managing broker selects a launch date, you're gonna have a big blue icon on your BLC dashboard, you can click it, you're gonna complete your profile, you're gonna set your password, you're gonna take note of the launch date, any training links if you wanna reattend trainings and how to set up showing instructions, fantastic. That's gonna be how you log in for the first time. That is the easiest way. Another way that you're potentially gonna be engaging with the system is you're also gonna get an email um, from the system when your managing broker says that they're launching Broker Bay. So as soon as your managing broker says, hey, um, we're going live with Broker Bay, you're also gonna get an email from the system. So know that you're either gonna see it on the BLC dashboard or get an email to go through this flow here. So not to worry. I wanna make everyone aware of, of, of uh, one thing as well. If as an agent, you click this button. So for whatever reason, if you see this button on your dashboard and you click it and you are met with this screen that looks like this, it will advise you that your managing broker has not yet initiated the launch process with Broker Bay. And this will prompt you to kind of prod or poke your managing broker to ask them if they, um, if they plan on moving forward with Broker Bay, which I suspect they will. Awesome. All right, so let's jump into the platform. 
And let me just see. Um, so Linda asks, once that shows up on our dashboard, do we then add the mobile app to our mobile device? That is a great time to do it, Linda. And I will, um, I will take you through how to upload the Broker Bay mobile app and what that looks like. Great question. All right. So we've just um, logged into Broker Bay from the BLC for the first time. And the first page that we're all going to be met with is really simple. It's called my dashboard. And this is your landing page. This is where you land in the Broker Bay system um, when you come from the BLC. And this is a snapshot of all of the important things to do with your business. So any listings that you have active on the BLC, they're gonna be front and center already on your platform. They automatically flow as a buyer's agent. All of your upcoming buyer showings and listing showings are gonna appear front and stable. Um, sorry, can everyone just, uh, can someone just say that you can still hear and see me? I just got a notification that my internet is unstable. Everyone can hear and see me? Awesome. I can hear and see you. You had a brief little glitch. So can you go back one sentence? Um, yes. So um, the showings card on your dashboard, as you start getting showings on your listings and start booking showings as a showings agent, as a buyer's agent, you're going to see all of your buyer and listing showings up front and center right here. And we'll talk more about that briefly. That's a very important part of the system. All right, any outstanding tasks that you have on your business? So like maybe you have a brand new listing that is missing showing instructions. Very important. We're gonna be spending a lot of time on that in a minute. Maybe you have not um, accepted a showing request on one of your listings that you are responsible for accepting. This will show up front and center on your tasks dashboard. And we'll talk about that. We will also show you, and there's none here, any feedback that you should have left on other people's listings, uh, and we'll, we'll get there in a few minutes. All right. The last thing I want to uh, mention, and, and if we have time at the end of this, we'll go into some detail on this. Um, but if you are an agent and you operate as part of a team, know that Broker Bay has a really awesome Teams module. Um, and we are going to show you at the end of this, we'll take a few minutes at the end of this to show you how teams get set up on Broker Bay so that you can all operate as a team, see your teammates listings, and even be able to connect really efficiently with your teammates and see their information. So we'll get into that. All right. But the first thing we're going to start off with before we even learn how to navigate different parts of the system is we need to mention and, and learn about the most important part about getting ready for the launch of Broker Bay. And so I'm gonna start off at the beginning for one second here. So let's say your managing broker chooses that they wanna go live with Broker Bay on January 24th. And so um, you get a notification that says your brokerage is going live on January 24th. And today is January 12th. What that means is from now until January 24th, this is the time period that you have to get ready with your listings to launch Broker Bay. And the most important part of getting ready to launch Broker Bay is adding showing instructions to all of your listings. So if you have one or two or seven or zero, um, you have to make sure that before the date your brokerage goes live, that you've set up all of the showing instructions. And that is what we're gonna focus on now. So there's a few ways to get to the screen where you could set up showing instructions on your listing. The first way, is you can click on your listing. And as the listing agent of this property or as a team administrator, um, we're gonna have access to a dashboard of different tools at the top of our listing. Showings, offers, feedback, documents, message agents, and edit listing. And where we're concerned with is setting up showings and showing instructions. So I'm gonna click there, but you'll also notice at the top of my listing, it's also warning me that showing settings are not configured. So there's a few ways to get to the configuration screen. I could click here and it'll bring me to the configuration screen. I could click on my listing, click showings and click configure showings and it'll bring me back to the same showing configuration screen or from my dashboard again, configure instructions on this listing. I click it, it brings me back to the same screen. So as you can imagine, there's three ways to get to this screen, which means it's really a, it's a really important screen. So let's focus for the next few minutes now as to how to set up our listings with showing instructions to get ready for the launch um, of Broker Bay. 
Meryl asks a great question. So will all of my listings that are active or pending in the MLS migrate? Yes, they will. And even your past listings will migrate, uh, Meryl. So you'll have a record of those as well. Cheryl asks, does Broker Bay offer a service that allows an agent to speak with a live person? Yes, we do. We have a full, fully functional 24-7 live appointment desk, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. All right. So I'm on my showing configuration. Let's set it up. Great. Um, Linda, great question. And then this is my last question before I focus on this. No, your showing instructions will not migrate over from showing time. Each of your listings need to be programmed manually with the process I'm about to show you. All right, so let's go through this. Showing settings. I would like the minimum showing notice on my listings to be two hours or four hours or five hours or 24 hours. The number that I put here um, will make the showing agent provide at least this minimum notice before booking a showing. Or perhaps I want at least overnight notice on any showing being booked on my property, potentially. I want the maximum duration of any showing request to be no longer than one hour, than 30 minutes or 15 minutes. So if you have a very busy property, um, feel free to select 30 minutes so that you make sure people are getting in and out of the house quicker than, than usual. Allow double bookings, overlapping showings. Are we okay with agents being in the property at the same time as other agents? Potentially. If we are, we may also want to notify those agents when they are overlapping with other agents. So pick and choose if you're okay with overlapping showings. And if you are, feel free to choose to have the system notify the parties that will be in the property at the same time as other people. And we're going to send them a very generic message. Be courteous. You're going to be in the same property at the same time as somebody else, make sure to organize the key with that person when you're there. Fantastic. Costa, All right. on, that first, yeah. uh, on that first field, minimum showing notice, um, the question is from Teresa, do we just leave the first field blank if we have a go and show? Yeah, so um, we'll get into go and show. So we have, a, we have an equivalent of go and show right here called auto confirm. Um, but you could still choose to have a minimum showing notice with go and show. So Maybe you want at least four hours notice, and then you're okay with auto confirming, go and showing every single showing on your property. So it's up to you how you want to um, pair those together. If you're okay with any showing at any time, you just leave this blank. Awesome. All right, let's keep going here. Um, and this, I think, is going to answer the question even better. Who should approve showings on this property? Is there a seller or tenant or listing contact that we want to involve in the approval of showings potentially? And we're gonna go through that example in a minute. Is the property um, vacant um, as, um, as Teresa um, asked, do we wanna um, set this to auto confirm, which is in your market currently, you call it go and show, we call it auto confirm. Um, so that's another option. Or potentially do you as the listing agent, maybe you're gonna be present for every showing, do you want to confirm each and every showing? It's up to you to pick and choose which of these strategies is most, um, uh, uh, which of these strategies is most relevant to your listing. So either seller to confirm, go and show, auto confirm as we call it, or um, listing agent to confirm. In this case, let's say the seller is to be involved in confirming all showings. All right, we are going to add instructions now. So the internal instructions that we're going to add might be a special note that we want the Broker Bay live appointment desk to be able to read when dealing with your listing. Maybe it's for our teammates or our branch administrators at our office. Let's write something like this. Um, if you contact Mary the seller, make sure to speak loud. She can't hear that well. So this is an internal note. No showing agent can see this. This section is only internally for our office staff, the broker made live appointment desk or our team staff if we are operating on a team. Awesome. All right, now let's move forward and talk about one of the most important parts of this transition of broker bay and master lock, which is how we're gonna give the showing agent access instructions. So we're gonna select, um, from a dropdown of different access types. And the main access type that you will be using in the future 
is Broker Bay's awesome integration with the Master Lock electronic lockbox system. So when you um, transition from Century Lock to Master Lock, you're going to be going to a MyBoard event to hand in your Century Lockbox, and they are going to be giving you a wonderful Master Lockbox, which I have in my hands right here. All right. When you get your lockbox- Where box, did you get that? <laughs> you're not supposed to have that yet. I have, I have my own because I'm special. <laughs> <laughs> so when you get your master lockbox, you need to add it to your Broker Bay account. And there's going to be staff at the trade event um, that are going to help you add it to your account. But I'm going to give you a quick demonstration as to how easy it is to add this to your account. All right. So switching gears for a second. In the top right corner of the platform, you're going to notice either your initials or your headshot if you've added your headshot. And when you click it, there is a section called lockboxes. This is where you will be able to see all of your master lock serial numbers, which properties they are assigned to. You're going to be able to view the access logs of each of these boxes when people have opened it. I'm going to delete this lockbox very quickly here. Um, just so I can re-add it to show you what you're going to be going through to add your lockboxes on the day that you hand in your century lockboxes. All right. So in the top right corner, so I'm going to show you again, when you go to lockbox, in the top right corner of the manage lockboxes screen, you're going to be able to add a new lockbox. It's going to ask you to select a brand. And I'm an administrator, so it's asking you to select an agent. It'll already be set to you as an agent. All right. The two fields that you're going to need to add our serial number, which master lock refers to as device ID. The device ID is located at the bottom of your box, okay? So I'm just gonna quickly copy over my device ID that I've saved here. Uh, so I'm gonna grab, that's the one on the bottom of my box. And then you will be given what is called a sharing code. A sharing code is, the, is a special code that allows master lock and um, uh, broker beta communicate. And so I'm going to put in my special sharing code and you will now notice that my lockbox has been added successfully. Fantastic. So I've added my lockbox. You might be adding three or four or 10 um, on your, on the day that you go, um, that you're handing in your lockboxes. But now what this means is when you go back to your showing instructions on that listing um, and you select the access type as master lock, your master lock serial numbers will now appear um, on the platform for you to select so that you can assign them to listings as listings go live um, for, for your... Um... Um, Jana asks, where do you find the sharing code? The sharing code will be given to you at the event, Jana, not to worry. All right, so I'm gonna select this serial number that I just added to the system. It validated it against the master lock API. So this listing is ready to go, it's set up. Let's also presume that when you show up at the property to put your master lockbox up on the fence, your lockbox happens to be in a weird spot that looks like this. Oh, I deleted this. Let me just get uh, really quickly lockbox uh, fence. Real estate. Just to give you an idea of where, when this becomes useful. All right, let's take this one here, drag it on here. All right. So when you show up at your listing to put your lockbox up, if it's in a weird position that looks kind of like this, upload photos of where your lockboxes are located. Take a photo with them from your phone, and I'll show you how to do this through your mobile app in a minute. Upload it to your listing. And using BrokerBase built-in drawing tools, you can really quickly indicate, hey, that you know what? This lockbox over here is my lockbox. And so moving forward, when you draw on your lockbox photos and upload them to your listings, every time a showing gets confirmed on your property, um, we're actually not only gonna generate electronic lockbox access for that master lockbox, but we're also gonna send a photo of where your lockbox is located and any other details uh, like um, if you have issues, um, call me if you have any issues, my card is on the back, great. Turn off lights, remove shoes, leave card, beware of the scary dog. All of these details with a photo with electronic lockbox will be delivered to each showing agent as their showings are confirmed. Great. 
let's keep going. So um, for this particular workflow that I want to show you, um, we're going to pretend that we have a seller living in the property and we want them to be involved. And again, because I didn't save it here, if you call Mary the seller, make sure to speak loud. She can't hear that well. Cool. All right. So it's important when we have a seller that we want to involve in this process to add them as a listing contact. So you'll notice we've preloaded a bunch of contacts already here. There's no limit to how many contacts you can have. But to add a contact, you click add a contact in the top right corner here. And the contact we're about to add is this lovely seller, Mary. And Mary's email is Costa at Broker Bay. Her phone number is 909-2310. We can send your sellers a bunch of communications as things are requested, confirmed, denied, canceled, et cetera. The one thing that you'll, um, I think your sellers will like about Broker Bay, um, compared to um, the previous system is the way we send text messages for those that receive text messages. So Broker Bay always sends every text message from the same five digit phone number. So you're no longer gonna get text messages from all these different phone numbers. All of Broker Bay's messages come from the same phone number. So you have a verified phone number with a thread of all your communications from that number, which is safe and effective in a world we live in now where everything seems to be a scam that we're getting over the phone or, or by text. So now that you can trust the number you're getting text from. For this particular seller, we can also give them permissions. So I want to give this seller permission to confirm their own showings to deny or cancel their own showings, and even soft suggest better times through their own Broker Bay dashboard, which we'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Depending on who this person is or what they're capable of doing, let's say they're a malicious tenant and we don't want to empower them to maliciously deny, deny, deny every showing, we can turn on or off certain privileges and certain notifications for each and every listing contact. Awesome. The last, one of the last things I want to set up on this listing is at the bottom, and it's the weekly availabilities and restrictions. And we've made setting restrictions on your listing so painfully easy now. So by simply clicking and dragging your cursor, you can tell Broker Bay that I don't want showings before 8.30, seven days a week, no showings before 9.30 on Saturdays, no showings at all on Sundays. So showings now will only be able to get booked during these available time slots. But to take it a step further, let's say your seller tells you that they are going to be out of the property Monday through Friday at the office from 11.30 to 2.30. We're now giving agents the ability to set granular go and show times. So granular auto confirm times. So if you want to tell Broker Bay that between 11.30 and 2.30, you want the system to Auto confirm times booked during these green time slots, you could set that up. If anyone books during a white time slot, the seller will have to give their approval and no one will be able to book during the red time slots. So um, I hope that everyone understands how efficient this can make us when we know we can confirm times during the week at certain times and not at others. Please use that, it's awesome, great. Um, Angie, I forget, um, and if anyone wants to comment on this, do people in, uh, in your market ever or are they currently getting um, uh, COVID-19 waiver forms signed on showings? Is that something that's happening currently or not as much? It's not It's not consistent. I think that there, it, it ebbs and flows. Um, bef before you move on to that, um, yes. what we usually get a question on at this point in time is even on an auto confirm, am I the listing agent notified? And how am I notified? Listing agents are always notified and you will be notified by email, by text, or by mobile app, or all three, depending on the preferences that you set up. Um, by default, you're going to get an email and a mobile app notification if you download the mobile app. And then if you want to turn on text messages, I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. Um, so Crystal Anderson asks a great question. Can you, uh, can you set up um, maybe listing day one and two auto confirm, but seller auto confirm afterwards? Yes, you can. So, um, Crystal, this is the um, generic weekly restrictions, availabilities, and auto confirm times um, for every day of the week. But if you have two, a couple of special days that you want 
not to follow these rules, you can also set special days. So if I want to set um, a special day, and let's say it's the 11th uh, or the 13th, and I want to say um, set all of these times to auto confirm, I can now do that or restrict them for those special days only, if that makes sense. Awesome. All right. So um, yeah, so um, uh, Cosette, the seller will also get notified even on go and show list uh, appointments, depending on their notification. So as long as your seller is set up to receive confirmations, they'll always get confirmations regardless if they approve it or if you approve it or if it's auto, uh, auto confirmed go and show. All right. So um, moving forward, and I, just because some people do it in the market, I, I'm going to cover it. Um, know that at the top of your of your showing configuration, you also now have COVID-19 settings, okay? So when you click COVID-19 settings, you now have the ability to customize pop-ups on your listings when people go to book through the MLS. You have the ability um, to create your own waivers. So for those of you that are getting or were getting PDFs signed every time a showing was happening on your listing because of COVID, know that. Um, you can now integrate a, a waiver form into the process of booking a showing so that showing agents don't need to muck around with DocuSign or dot loop or anything. They could sign their waiver form directly from Broker Bay and it's all automated. And I'll show you how that looks like. Great. All right. So we've configured showing instructions on our listing. We're now ready for showings to get booked on our property. And, um, and how can a showing get booked? There's a lot of different ways. So a showing could get booked via the Broker Bay Live Appointment Desk. They could be booked via going to the BLC matrix and finding the listing. They can be booked through the Broker Bay web platform or through our mobile app. So let's quickly go through some of those. Um, know that when you are on Broker Bay, Okay, so let's say you're on Broker Bay and you want to find any listing in the BLC to book a showing on, all you have to do is search for it at the top. So if you, if you type um, the address, and I don't know if we have any, any um, all the addresses here, you can find any listing and you can click on it. Um, this is not a, this is a test account, so these are all fake listings. But anyways, you could search for all listings through the top search bar and schedule a showing on them through the platform. But the way that we typically look for properties is we go to the BLC, to, to Matrix, we search for a listing, and you're now gonna find that every place that used to show the showing time logo, and this is not the BLC, this is a dummy account, um, you're gonna notice wherever the showing time logo used to show up on your BLC, you're now gonna see a Broker Bay booking logo on listings that are using Broker Bay. So as you would imagine, it's as easy as clicking the Broker Bay booking button and it'll take you to the MLS booking screen that looks like this. And it's really simple. Um, you could select a date, a time, a duration, and you can request your showing. It's a really modern and simplified screen to quickly select a date, time, and book a showing. The external, uh, sorry, the um, the, the booking screen that we're offering through the MLS now also offers lots of other tools and we're actually going to be launching a new um, interface in the near future, but I'll, I'll just show you kind of what we have today. So we make it really easy to book a showing. We make it really easy to view the listing quickly if you want to just check out the listing. If you want to subscribe to property updates regarding offers, property announcements, or feedback reminders, um, you can also do that through the, the, um, the MLS booking screen as well on your listings. So Cynthia asks a great question. Can you see other showings that are booked? No, you can't. So what you can see are times that are blocked off, but times that are blocked off can be blocked off for a number of reasons. We don't, we don't specifically advertise that, hey, there's a showing at this time. We, we like to keep that information private for the listing agent and the seller. Um, okay, let's keep going here. Let's book a, sh a real showing. So um, I'm not gonna book through the MLS because that's a real, um, through the BLC, because that's a, that's a live listing that I just clicked on. 
But through the system, as a listing agent or as an administrator, um, we can book showings on behalf of any agent on the MLS on our own listings if we want to input those instructions. So I'm going to very quickly book a showing, search for the showing agent that's booking on my listing, select a date in the future. He's very eager. He's booking a couple of years in advance. Select a time. All right. So as soon as we book our first showing on this listing, something terribly unexciting happens. The showing that was booked on your property enters your brokerage's admin queue. So what you'll be excited to know about is that MyBor has subscribed to the full Broker Bay brokerage showing ecosystem. So your brokerage, your team, et cetera, will have access, their staff will have access to administrative dashboards where they can see all of the showings on all of the inventory in the brokerage. And the showing that we just booked on your listing is sitting down here at the bottom of the queue and it's waiting for a COVID-19 form to get signed before this showing is confirmed. Know that as soon as the showing was booked though, the, our live appointment desk received that appointment. So if they need to take any actions on it, they can see it. Your brokerage can see it if they need to help out in any other way. The seller, the showing agent, the listing agent, all parties were notified by email, by text, by mobile app. Let's have a look at an email um, that the showing agent would have just received if they preferred to get communicated with by email. So I think we have a couple of questions here. Let's see what we got. Yes, you can book showings for one hour or longer if necessary, Teresa, I'll show you how that works in a second. Um, Linda asks, how far in advance can we book a showing? As far in advance as you'd like. Um, Christy asks, can you book multiple showings at one time? Yes, you can on February 8th, Christy. And I'll show you that. I'm really excited to show you guys that today um, if you haven't seen it before. So I'll show you that in, a, in one minute. I'm just going to go through this workflow. All right. So as soon as that showing was booked, the showing agent immediately got a communication that looks like this. Action required. This listing requires you to sign a COVID-19 waiver form. So without needing to send this person anything or muck around with DocuSign, PDFs, or dot loop, this agent, all they got to do is click sign now. They're going to see your customized COVID-19 waiver form. They can click to sign. And using BrokerBase e-signature system, you can sign your signature very quickly. And we have now captured that COVID-19 waiver form just like that. And we've saved it to your showing in your system, printable and auditable by you and your staff forever. Great. So COVID-19 waiver forms out of the way if you turn that on on your listing. If your seller is savvy enough to get an email, if they preferred emails, and depending on the permissions that you allowed them to have, accepting, denying, and suggesting, if your seller is savvy enough to get these communications to press accept, you're going to notice the showing at the bottom of your queue here. It disappeared from the queue. Uh, the showing is now fully confirmed. All parties were notified. The showing agent received a confirmation with master lock electronic lockbox access with a photo of where that lockbox is located. And that showing has been saved in the system forever and auditable. Great. So I think we have a question here. Bob Chambers asks, will lockbox open for an agent if the showing has not been approved? No, it will not, Bob. You must have an approved showing in order to access the lockbox. Okay, so next, know that every time one of your listing contacts, like a seller, a tenant, whomever, whenever they press a button in a communication they get from Broker Bay, we always center them back onto their customer dashboard where they can see all of these showings that have been booked or um, on their listing, they can take actions on those showings depending on the permissions you've given them and know that with one click, um, your clients now can sync all of the showings on their property with their personal calendar. So unlike our competitor um, that requires you to copy a link and paste it into your calendar, which is a pretty technical barrier to entry for a lot of sellers, your sellers no longer need to do that. All they have to do is click the calendar they use and moving forward, BrokerBay is going to automatically sync all new past, changed, edited, canceled showings with their personal calendar with a click of a button, which is pretty cool. Know that your sellers, in addition to managing showings and syncing their calendars, they can get in touch with you as their agent. 
manage notification preferences and settings, view their listing, and a whole lot more in the very near future because we're launching a new seller experience shortly. So stay tuned for that. All right, so I think we have a question here. Um, cool. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the most important workflow, how showings are getting booked. But most importantly, the thing that you have to remember is when you find out that your brokerage is going live with BrokerBay, before the date that it goes live, you must configure showing instructions. You must assign your master lockbox to your listings. The other thing I want to note is in the interim, if before you hand in your lockbox um, and you need to use Sentry Lock for whatever reason, know that your Sentry Lock boxes will also appear here in the event that you need to use your Sentry Lock box before you transition over to Master Lock. So know that we got you covered and we're going to make sure that every aspect of the interim transition is covered unless Angie is about to yell at me and correct what I'm about to say. Not, no, I <laughs> um, no, but there was a question in the chat that I, I think we missed of, do we have to use a master lockbox or can we use a combination lockbox? So the system yep. will allow you to use a different type of lockbox. Obviously, you know, my board is, is promoting and heavily investing in the master lock electronic lockboxes because we believe in the safety, the security, the, the ability to track entries in and out of the, the lockbox, not just is, was there a showing booked, but was the, was the lockbox actually accessed um, by the proper person at the proper time, um, which you, of course, lose that functionality when you go from an electronic technolo technology to a mechanical um, solution that the, the security and the tracking um, is just simply not the same. Um, but we do not require our members to use electronic lockboxes. We can uh, we can give you all of the great reasons why you should. But if you have a different type of lockbox that you um, that you have and you want to use, Costa, can you show them how they would? Um, Super easy. Log that in. In your, in your showing configuration, if you have a combination lockbox that you want to set up, instead of master lock, you're just going to set up lockbox, and you're going to manually type the code in two five six eight. And this is the code that people will put in manually when they go to your listing. So easy peasy, whether you want to set up a normal lockbox, a master lock ele electronic lockbox, or a sentry lockbox, um, it's all in the drop down for you to select on your listings. So know that that's available to you. Uh, another question. Um, uh, let's see, I lost it. There we go. I, I know you covered this early, but can you? Uh, go back to the screen where you can allow or disallow overlapping showings. Um, Christy yes. asked, can you book multiple showings at one time? Ah, uh, yes. Listing agent. So um, we've been working on this for quite a long time. And this is getting launched on February 8th, presuming there's no delays, but around February 8th, February 10th, um, you will see the new Broker Bay tour product. Um, which is pretty awesome. This is a modern replacement for um, the showing cart product that you've probably all become very used to um, uh, while using showing time. So the Broker Bay Tours product is going to allow you to add multiple properties to a tour. And you're going to be able to map out all of the listings that you're trying to book a showing on, on a map, and if you want to drag and drop the order of these showings, you can. If you want BrokerBay to optimize the route based on the, sh the shortest distance, you can just click optimize. And this is going to be the most modern, modern system for you to set up, arrange multiple showings. You could search for properties to add to your cart directly from the screen. You can view the listing and we make it really easy to see the available times of each property in one interface so that you can arrange them based on the available showing times. And of course, we allow you to submit all of these requests with a click of one button um, so that you could book five, 10, 15 showings all in one shot. So, um, so know that this is being launched on February 8th. So, so stay tuned for that very shortly after you go live. And then I assume we will have additional training available when that feature goes live. Um, another question for you, Costa, can we book showings for one hour or longer? 
if necessary. So let's say they have a um, an inspection happening. Can they request longer than one hour? Yes. So when you're requesting a showing, um, especially for home inspections, you'll notice that when you book, it'll say custom duration at the bottom. And you have the ability to say, okay, you know what? I actually need two hours. Let me see if I can get that approved. Does that make sense? It's at the discretion of whomever is approving those or confirming those appointments. Correct. Thank you. All right. So um, let's keep the party going here because I want to cover a bit more in the 10 minutes that we have left. Um, I may go a bit over if, uh, if Angie allows me to. So staying on the topic of showing related technologies, let's now go to the next most important part. And you must remember this. So if everyone can remember um, when I said, when you log into Broker Bay from the BLC for the first time, it's going to get you to create a password. And it's this password that you create that you're going to use to log in to the Broker Bay mobile app. So let's have a look um, at the mobile app now. So, um, Angie, can you just let me know that you can see the mobile app um, all well and done in one, two, three. You can see it? It's there, bingo. Fantastic. So first things first, you're going to go to the Google Play Store or the um, Apple Store, and you're going to download broker, the Broker Bay mobile app. All right. So the Broker Bay mobile app, you're going to download it. Um, oh, I got to update it quickly. And hopefully I, okay, it's already updated. Great. So it passed the login screen for me, but um, you're going to use that password and username to log in. Your email is your username. Your password is the password that you set up when you log in through the BLC for the first time. Now, if you wanted to do almost everything that I've shown you today from the web, from your mobile device, you could have done that. So you'll notice that the mobile app is now becoming an intranet system where you can see your business, your team's business if you're on a team, your brokerages listings and open houses in business if you wanna engage in your brokerages business. Um, uh, okay, so if I wanted to click on one of my listings, you'll notice in the top right corner, you also have a settings wheel here and you can click on the settings wheel and choose to configure showing instructions on the run from your mobile device. So if you wanted to, um, let's say, um, select a different lockbox type or set your master lockbox here, um, or if you wanted to do something as granular as click on the lockbox photo so that you can draw a bit more on it. So if you can like, if you wanna add another arrow, you can add it. Or if you wanna set restrictions, you could set weekly restrictions and say, you know what, no showings before 10.30 on Tuesdays and auto confirm showings um, on, on Thursdays. You can now do really advanced actions to program your listings really efficiently from your mobile app. You'll notice on all, all of your listings, there's a little menu at the bottom where you can see and manage showing requests on each individual listing, or perhaps if you wanna manage all of your showing requests on all of your business, you'll notice that on the main dashboard at the bottom, at the main menu, there's a calendar view. And the calendar view is where you can see all of your upcoming buyer showings, all of your past buyer showings, all of your upcoming listing showings, and all of your past listing showings. But the one thing that I wanna show you, um, which is gonna be really relevant to ingrain in your minds is what it looks like to access a master lockbox using the Broker Bay mobile app. So I'm quickly gonna book a showing um, through the system on this listing here. So let me just book a really quick listing here. Uh, let me put this here. Okay, so let's book a showing on this property right here. All right, so we booked a showing on this listing. And as soon as we booked that showing, um, let me get it back here. 
as soon as we booked the showing, it showed up on our dashboard as a new showing. And you'll notice that it's requiring some action. So when I click on it, the first thing it's going to tell me to do is sign the COVID-19 acknowledgement waiver form. So using the Broker Bay mobile app, we can quickly sign these waiver forms and get them out of the way without having to access our computer or our email. Great, we've signed the COVID-19 waiver form. Um, let me confirm this showing now so I can show you what a confirmation looks like. So um, let's go to very quickly, um, one, two, three, healthy street. Oh, actually I'm the listing agent. So I'm just gonna um, click on it here. One second. July, February. I book way too many showings here. Okay, accept. All right, so I'm sending a confirmation. All right, so as the showing agent now, when I get my confirmation and I look at it through the Broker Bay mobile app, you're gonna notice that as you scroll through this, it's gonna say that you're gonna access this property by master lock. And when you click it, it's gonna tell you how to engage with the lockbox. So the first thing it's gonna tell you is to press any button. So I'm gonna press this button here, I pressed it. It automatically is gonna tell me now that I need to tap this button to unlock the box. I tap it, the box is now unlocked and we can open it. So using the Broker Bay mobile app now, we can book these showings, see the confirmation, sign COVID-19 waiver forms and press a button to unlock these boxes. Awesome. So. If I needed to take other actions on this showing, like rescheduling the showing, canceling it, I can now do all of that through the Broker Bay mobile app. Great. The last thing I wanna show you on the mobile app is how easy it's gonna be moving forward to find properties and book showings on the run. So if you ever find yourself um, in a situation where you're driving in a neighborhood and you wanna find a property that you just drove by, you'll notice on your Broker Bay mobile app, there is a search section, a search icon, and you click it. You could type the address if you know the address, or you could search via a modern mobile view. So if you want to like zoom into a neighborhood, filter by price, by bedrooms, and there's the listing I meant to book a showing on, or maybe it was this one over here. You can click on it. You could view photos very quickly now. We have also a really awesome full screen photo viewer if you ever want to um, view all the photos in a large format. And of course, it's very easy to book a showing, select a date, and select an available time slot. So find properties, manage your listings, open up lockboxes, sign waiver forms, all from your Broker Bay mobile app. Fantastic. Okay, Angie, um, I know we're running, we're butting up against 11 o'clock here. I still wanted to go through our feedback collection system because it's showing related and also um, and our virtual showing system. Do I have uh, 10 minutes, everyone, to kind of go through a couple more items? Five to 10 minutes so we can be out of here. I think that's fine. I took up 10 minutes of your time this morning, so. No worries. Yeah. I assume if anyone needs to bow out, you can go ahead and sign off. We are recording this and it will be sent as a follow-up. So if you miss any of it because you have a, an appointment to rush off to, um, you will have this as a resource uh, in your inbox shortly. All right. So um, to fly through a couple of last um, important things are, yes, Broker Bay asks showing agents for feedback. On your listings, we have a feedback section. And anytime a showing agent gives you feedback, it'll be stored here. You can edit it, you can adjust it, you could save it, you could send it off to people. But what I really wanna show you is how you can customize your feedback settings. So your feedback settings make it really easy, first and foremost, if you wanna customize your questionnaire. So I'm gonna delete this question. I'm gonna edit this question and remove this um, uh, and add another answer, heck yeah. Uh, whatever, if you guys are fun like that, feel free to, add your own options here, rearrange questions, create new questions. Do you think my listing is way overpriced? Yes. 
for sure, a hundred percent. So obviously these are all jokes, everyone, but you get the idea. Um, you can now ask very specific, unique questions that have to do with your property or your situation and the, and the things that you want to ask. So customize your questionnaire really quickly um, on each one of your listings. But what good is a great questionnaire if no one is filling it out to begin with? So the next thing I want to show you when we scroll down here is this great new concept we developed called smart templates. So every part of the system that sends out communications, you have the ability to customize it and make these messages look really personalized and actionable. So you'll notice in the template, in the feedback template, you'll notice these blue tags here. These are called smart tags and they live at the bottom of your template. And so if you wanna make this message say, hi, showing agent first name, drag and drop that piece of data. I want to personally beg you for feedback. If you would ever be so kind and click the feedback, feedback button link and let's give them a thumbnail of the property just in case they forget what it looks like. And let's also give them the ability to book another showing if they need to. So you get the idea. You can now customize your templates to make them look like they're coming directly from you with really actionable data. And you can link them to your awesome feedback forms and have all of that feedback flow into the system really professionally. Great. That's our feedback system. Now, if you ever just want to send a big blast out, maybe you had a hundred showings on your listing and you just want to message everyone with a piece of information, know that on every one of your listings, we have a section called message agents and you can click it. You can see all of the agents who have had a showing on your property or have booked a showing on your property. If you've had way too many, you can choose to filter this list out to send a message only to agents that have completed showings so that I've actually been in the property. And if you want to leave a message that says, um, let's say, um, sub, uh, 123 Healthy Street, offer received, you can let them know, hi, showing agent first name, I wanted to personally reach out and let you know that we have received an offer on the property or we're having an open house or X, Y, or Z. This is how you can send big blasts to large groups and filter out who you want them to get that message and who you don't. Fantastic. All right, let's leave on a high note, everybody. Now we're just going through um, uh, some fun stuff. I'm gonna show you something that will really impress your sellers um, so that you can show them how you are using technology to help sell their home during a pandemic to out of town buyers, et cetera. What am I about to show you? So the next module that I wanna take you through is something that's really cool. It's called Broker Bay's MLS integrated 3D virtual showing platform. For those of you who do virtual tours on your listings. So when I say virtual tours, currently we're integrated with Matterport, with iGuide and Real Vision, but we are going to be adding more providers into this ecosystem so that you can offer a virtual showing platform through the BLC on your listings. What the heck does that mean? Moving forward, when a showing agent goes to your listing and when your listing has a virtual tour, they are now going to be able to enter your virtual tours. So you'll see my head in the top right corner here. And I can actually invite my customers. So if I want to invite my client at gmail.com, I can invite one, two, three, four clients, and they can meet me inside of your property's virtual tour. And if my client was here right now, I'd be able to see their head in this corner here, and we could communicate using Broker Bay's built-in video conferencing system. But even cooler, as I move around this property, my client can see what I'm trying to show them. So we're actually interacting now on this virtual tour. So as the showing agent, I can jump around this property. My client can see what I'm showing them. If my client wants to grab control of the tour, they can show me around the property and we can talk about what they want to talk about. So moving forward, something really cool to show your sellers as to what you're doing to help market their properties digitally. Um, know that a showing agent can also 
add multiple properties to this tour. So if they wanna uh, jump between five or six listings, they can line up all of these virtual tours and go th one after the other through them with their um, customers without skipping a beat using Broker Bay's virtual um, showing system, which is awesome. And we have a, a pretty cool roadmap for where this is going. All right, so I'm gonna stop blabbing, but before I do, I want to do a high level recap of all of the important things you need to remember to do before launch. Number one. Now, yep. Before you do the recap, there are lots of questions about the COVID-19 form. So I just want to make yes. sure to clarify that before we get into a recap. Um, they're asking about buyer um, signatures on the COVID-19 form. So my understanding, and you correct me if I'm wrong, is that um, that extensive form that you would have um, your buyers, you know, fill out um, would be handled separately outside of the system. It's out of the scope of this system. But the COVID so form. Would there's there's two to make this as efficient as possible. There's two things that we can do, and I'll I'll just get, kind of give you an example. So obviously, tracking signatures down from buyers and getting buyer contact information and giving it direct to, directly to a listing agent rubs a lot of people the wrong way sometimes. But with that said, what we have seen happen in different markets to make this as efficient as possible is you can edit your waiver form and you can say that um, like number nine, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just doing some off like some creativity here, number nine, you agree that your buyers um, will sign the attached form before the time of the showing and that you will keep and that you will keep a copy that we can request at any time or whatever the case is. And so basically, if you'd like, you can actually attach a separate PDF to this form. And so basically the, um, the, the showing agent is warranting that they have given their client the PDF and that should you ever ask for it, they can give it to you. So that's one way um, to, to make that process much more efficient without actually requiring each and every signature from each and every customer and put the onus on the showing agent to ensure that they're conducting that process. If that is relevant and I don't wanna change however you are um, uh, going about that process. Can but yeah, long story short, them? Sorry? Can they print the form? Yes. So on every showing, um, on every showing, in the history of the showing, um, we save the, uh, the acknowledgements, the waiver forms. So if you ever wanted to visit it and print it off, you can, <coughs> <coughs> you can very easily print it off at any point. Linda, quit printing things. Yeah, stop printing. It's all here. We got a, We got you. She and I have had a thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good deal. Costa, thank you so much for your time. Do you want to do a, a quick recap? These are your marching orders as you get launched. On January 20th, the, um, the Broker Bay button on your dashboard will go live for managing brokers or their admins to... Um, register your brokerage and what registering your brokerage simply means is you intend for your listings associated with your brokerage to participate and default to the broker bay platform for booking that allows us to put all of the pieces in place so that when you're putting listings in the blc it defaults to broker bay when you're setting up broker bay all your listings are there so it allows us to connect the data pieces of the puzzle um, and then also allows your uh, the setup of your brokerage and then the launch of your agents so that they can create their um, logins and start participating. Okay, so you, you have that perfectly. So on the date that your brokerage selects that they're going live team, you're gonna have access to a button on, on the BLC to click. You'll also get an email asking you to go to your account. You're gonna complete your profile, set up your password, download the mobile app and start configuring your listings. If you do just that. So if you, and if, if you take one thing away from today, it's make sure that you know how to get into Broker Bay and you configure your listings. The rest will work itself out. 
we haven't gone through the entire system. There's still much more we're going to keep learning about as time progresses, but all we need to know to be successful is make sure to configure your listings as soon as your brokerage announces that they're launching Broker Bay. So with that, thank you so much, everyone, for listening to me uh, talk for so long. And Angie, thanks for having me again. This is always a pleasure. And uh, I know we're going to be doing much more of this in the future. So uh, so stay yep, tuned, I, everyone. And yep. Yeah. And I should mention um, on the 20th, when we launch this, we are going to offer an admin staff training. So anyone who's on the call that has, um, you know, a, a brokerage staff that is managing through this process on your behalf for your, for your agents, um, that will be at 10 a.m. on January 20th. Surprise, Costa, 10 a.m. on January yeah. 20th. Um, we will be doing an in-depth um, staff training, you know, admin staff training, um, precisely walking through all of this. And I, I have been posting in the chat, we are going to be publishing out additional resources. If you are currently using a different showing service and um, you need to request data, so you have the historical data, you have your contacts that you've loaded into that system, we'll have a request form published so that you can easily make that request to um, that service provider so they can get you your data. Um, and then, uh, you know, we, we'll have lots and lots of resources as we get closer to the date and along the way. So as you register and you're getting launched, we have you covered every step of the way. Um, and we'll continue doing these trainings and offering trainings, again, all, all the way through this. It, now that, that Broker Bay is launching in our market and they are our partner, we, of course, will support our members through constant, consistent training opportunities as well. Also, know that in the top right corner of your platform, everybody, if you ever want to get a train, if you ever want to get a training, um, it's really simple. If you're an administrator or a staff brokerage person, you're going to see under training webinars, you can subscribe for an admin training webinar, or for agents, you can subscribe for an agent training webinar right through the system here. So it's always easy to, to, to get access to trainings, everyone. Okay, with that, we are finished. Um, thank you for your time and attention today. I'm going to leave the um, webinar open for just a few minutes so I can make sure all your questions are answered. But um, take care, everyone. We will see you very soon. And um, yeah, thank, thanks for joining us.